it's really an exciting time to be an educator um, with the way technology has gone and the kinds of tools and resources it gives you you have in your hands the power to do so much more than educators before you for instance one of the tools that you have is the is the power of analytics the ability to be able to see how students are trending the ability to be able to know how students are performing versus a specific learning objective you know in time past um, you would teach a set of topics from the first day of the term to the last day and then you're going to examine in all those topics and then the students would go home with a result that says 60 over 100 or an A or a B or something like that. But it never allowed us to capture what learning objectives the students are good at or what learning objectives the students are poor at. But with a tool like Study Lab, because students are able to do quizzes that you provide and are able to do practice sets that have been well curated and categorized by learning objectives, then it's so much easier for a teacher to say, hey, look, these students are not too good in algebra, or the numbers and numeration is not too well. Combinatronics could do a little better. And then you now know exactly where you should spend more time. So if, for instance, you saw a graph that says, look, algebra is great, or combinatronics is good, but geometry had a problem, you will know exactly how to how to sequence your learning objectives, how to sequence your learning. If you saw a graph that said, my number numeration is okay, combinatronics not too good, algebra pretty poor, then you would be able to design your lessons to help your students get better at algebra. And we call this instructional, we call this data-driven instructional design, where the data that the students are churning out as a result of the work that they do on a system allows the teacher to be able to know exactly how to help them and exactly where to help them.